What is going on you guys? It is Evan here and welcome back to another video and today going to be giving you guys a look at my Iron Spider cosplay created by the RPC Studio. Alright, so a little bit of back history on uh, what this costume is, how it's made, all that stuff. So this is one of RPC's, uh, it's called the Paint Suits, which means it is screen printed onto colored fabrics. And really funny thing about this costume is the fact that um, it actually looks a lot better in person than it does on RPC's website. Now when the suit first was uh, released by RPC, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I thought that the pictures didn't look super great. It also didn't help that pretty much the day after uh, they released this costume on their site, uh, Marvel released an updated picture of the Iron Spider showing that it was actually much different than the base pattern that this one was based off of. However, I then wound up seeing it for sale secondhand on uh, just one of the Spidey Facebook pages and it kind of struck me as it looks a lot better in person and in other pictures than it does in the photos that RPC has up on their website. So yeah, let's uh, jump on into uh, giving you guys a quick overview of this thing. All right, so here's the suit all laid out on my bed, as is the norm. Um, the first thing you'll notice is it has a very awesome metallic feel to it. They really did a good job at, with uh, what they did with the screen printing of kind of making it look metal. After all, it is supposed to be an armored Spider-Man suit. Uh, the entire front logo is actually screen printed on. You can kind of see that there. Um, you got the screen printed gold lines. Um, on the fabric here for the red sections and the lines, the, uh, what is it, the lines are part of the fabric, the, or rather part of the pattern. Um, the, uh, there's got that uh, dot texture um, screen printed on as well. One of the things also that they decided to do with this that I wasn't originally the biggest fan of was they used both black and blue on this costume. There's some black over here as well. Uh, the whole thing with the Iron Spider costume is, if you don't know, it is a red and black costume. This has been confirmed multiple times by multiple different people who worked on the film. There was a big argument in the Spidey community of if it was a red and black or a red and blue. It's been confirmed by the actual people who created it that it is actually red and black. It just so happens that with the reflectiveness of the metallic costume, that uh, black will reflect in blue sometimes. So sometimes it looks like a dark blue, sometimes it looks black. It's all about lighting situations, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me that much because a actual costume does not exist uh, that they made with the movies. It's all CGI'd on. But anyways, when I first saw the, um, the, red, the uh, black here for the spider and the blue here on the fabric, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I thought it was a bit weird to go with two different colors, like, you know, just pick one and go with it. I would have wished that this blue section actually was black. But at the end of the day, it actually winds up looking pretty good, in my opinion. So the shoulders over here, they're actually not accurate. Uh, they have more of a point when the uh, actual costume itself in the movie is more of like an armored shoulder pad. Uh, these here are not accurate. Like I said before, this was based off of the original pictures released of the costume before we got an updated look with the web shooters and stuff. We also have the uh, palm pad here. Uh, it's designed to look kind of like a repulsor. It's a bit bigger than the movie suit, but again, like I said, uh, this is based off of an earlier concept version of the costume. It's got an attached mask here. Um, the eyes actually, as you can see, the original owner cut them to be a little bit bigger so they could uh, work, I guess, with whatever lenses he had, something like that. It wound up working just fine on my costume, so it was a non-issue uh, for me. Coming over here down to the boots, you've got the really cool, um, I don't know what you'd call it, the pattern that the boots have with the gold there. Um, you can also see on the screen printing here, they did include in the gaps here, like where it's, I guess, the armored plating or whatever. It looks really, really cool, uh, in my opinion. I'm glad they did that and didn't just make it like a flat uh, screen printed blue. And then turning it over really quick to take a look at the back of the costume, you can see that beautiful back spider right there. Honestly, this is possibly one of my favorite back spiders to ever see on a Spider-Man costume. I don't know what it is about it, I just absolutely love it. Going down here, you can see the belt, more of the back on the shoulders. There's the mask. Um, let's see if I have the zipper open, but it's got a zipper so you can, you know, pull in your face shell and stuff. It's, uh, let's see, looks like it's not open at the moment, but you get the general idea. This costume also did come with wrist zippers, which is awesome. I always recommend wrist zippers no matter what on your costumes. And yeah, that is just a full look at the back of the costume. And then last little bit to show off to you guys, the accessories that I use with this costume. Um, so let's start off with the web shooters. These were uh, created by Art Chris Props. 
Um, I actually got them with the costume when I bought it um, second hand, so these web shooters are also second hand. They are not 100% accurate to the movie, but I love them just the same. Um, so the way they work here is you have this um, main piece here that wraps around your um, wrist with Velcro. And then what would happen is this, because it has Velcro here, the top part, that goes right on top and you get a full uh, web shooter and you can kind of see how that works with this one. This system is absolutely incredible in my opinion. I believe these are uh, 3D printed and then uh, painted with, uh, you know, gold uh, to look like the actual web shooters. And then the face shell, this is actually one that I have been borrowing from a friend of mine. This is not my personal face shell. I just absolutely love this thing. I wish I could keep it, but at some point I have to give it back to him. Uh, shout out to uh, Michael McRae. I'll link his Instagram down below. He's one of my best friends. Uh, but the thing I love about this shell is it's just got this great inlay of um, the lens plus the face shell. The face shell is nice and sturdy, but I don't know, something about it being so sturdy and actually kind of heavy has really been a fun time uh, to be wearing. And the magnets, or the uh, lenses with the magnets here, those just snap right in and they're some of the most, uh, this is one of the most well put together face shells I've ever gotten the pleasure of using. But yeah, with that, let's go ahead, throw this costume on and I can show you guys how it looks once it's on me. Okay, so I'm in the process of getting the whole thing on my body, and I figured I would give you guys a really quick demo of how these uh, web shooters work. So here we have this main piece. This is the one that goes underneath your arm. Uh, so that attaches on right there. Kind of pull that as close as you can uh, to there. You can adjust the Velcro if you need to, just so it makes it more onto the other side. And then you take this part right here. So there's your web shooter already set. And that just goes right on there. And boom, there you go. Full Iron Spider Infinity War web shooter. Pretty cool, right? And also the pretty neat thing I have to say about this is even if you don't have a web shooter for your uh, Infinity War Iron Spider costume, if you get this, these count just as well as being web shooters. I've actually used this uh, for a charity event and I just wore it with these because it made life easier. All right, so now I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look of how this whole thing looks on my body. Hopefully I stay in frame just because I'm one, not wearing my glasses, and two, wearing a facial lens set, which, you know, makes it a bit difficult to see. Um, just so you can see here, this is a good look at how this facial looks. I absolutely love the shape of this thing. It's just, it's so cool. I wish I could keep this thing, but alas, I will eventually have to return it to my friend even though I've been holding on to it since uh, January. It's been about three or four months that I've been keeping this thing from him. So anyways, here you can see the front spider uh, should be reflecting pretty nicely in the sun. I love how this costume looks in natural light. It just gives a really cool reflective look. Here's the whole costume. Hopefully I'm in frame. Get a good look at that. Get a nice look at that back spider. Pretty cool, right? Got my web shooters and everything. I lift up my leg and hopefully not fall over. Get a good look at how the boots look. Boots are awesome. And uh, yeah, that's a full look at the Iron Spider costume. Now I'm gonna just take off this mask, move to a different camera angle, and uh, take out a few more things. Another little thing to point out is RPC did an absolutely amazing job screen printing this. You have all this black and gold detail that isn't actually like fabric. It is screen printed on. Same thing with the spider. It's held up so well in my opinion. It's just, it's so impressive, this screen printing. Same thing with the web shooters. I haven't experienced any sort of like peeling or cracking or anything, and I've done some pretty heavy use in this costume, if I'm being honest. Also, here is just a better shot of the boots in case I didn't get a good one before. You can see the full Kung Fu shoe that is in there. And also just a little look at, um, I don't know what you'd call this, the piping on the blue uh, that's supposed to give it kind of that armor plating look. All right, here we go. Here's how the maskless look can be for you. Uh, I went ahead and tucked in the mask here. Not my favorite thing to do with uh, detached masks, or rather, attached masks. This is why I prefer detached masks, um, because it actually allows you to take off the mask and that kind of thing. Um, here you can see the shoulders are not 100% accurate to the movie. Um, the movie look actually does more of a, um, just like kind of a straight angle curve. This one does a uh, point. The other one is like an actual armored plate that sits on his shoulder. But yeah, look, just this suit is so cool. Really good look at the back spider. This thing is so cool, guys. Um, if you're looking to get a suit like this, you can hit up the RPC Studio. I will include a link down in the description below where you guys can get this costume. 
Honestly, I wish more people would own this one because I don't think that their website photos do it very much justice. And that's why I'm doing this video so you guys can see that this is actually a really solid RPC paint suit and I think is definitely one of their more underrated suits. But anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, all my social media links down in the description below. Uh, the main place I post tends to be my Instagram, so that would be the most important one to follow. You can also follow my Twitter, where you can see my little rantings, complaining about life, all that sort of stuff. My Twitter usually has nothing to do with cosplay, so if you're just wanting the cosplay stuff, I wouldn't suggest going to my Twitter. And like I said before, if you are interested in buying one of these suits for yourself, hit up the RPC studio, give them some love, get more people to own this costume, because come on, this thing is so cool. It's, even though it's not 100% accurate, it is, in my opinion, one of the best options for an Iron Spider costume out there, and I swear I'm not being paid to say this, I genuinely think this is one of their best RPC paint suits to date. But anyways, all that being said, remember to stay frosty, and I will see you all in the next video. God, I love that back spider. <sighs> I love this suit so fucking much.